See any of these sponsors, tell them thanks. And you know what? If you're in the market to buy a vehicle, give them a chance. Give them a call. Give them a shot. Ball is in the air. Tip belongs to the Warriors. And this ball game is underway. Official tip time, 7.02 tonight. In Burton Horn. No damage done there. Now we do. They're going to go ahead and stop play and get that figured out. As the horn sounded, uh, went off. And then the clock sits at 9.57. Titus thinks it should be 1944. The officials will go over. It was really interesting to watch that official walk in like a V pattern over to the bench. I don't know what he was up to for sure, but Kerry Cathcart tuned in. Alex McPherson tuned in. Mallory Waltering. Karen Polona. Karen and Vince watching from Connecticut tonight. Bianca Myers. Dr. Myers tuned in. Denise Ashby. My dad says me and brother Delbert and Kyle tuned in. Go Warriors. Colombe brings it into Jones, and we're ready for basketball. They set it at 9.52. Colombe trying to go baseline, and he is being denied down there. Now he'll work his way into the lane, kick it out. Don McHenry off the front of the iron. No good. Colombe grabs it, puts it in, and Enoch has the first two for the Warriors. I'm predicting 20 points plus out of Enoch tonight. I was telling Titus that earlier. Let's we'll see if that holds true. I think he's going to have a big night offensively tonight. Jane Polona, Jeanette Oliver, shout out from Miami. What's the temperature there, I wonder? I bet it's nice. Three-pointer on the way is no good and grabbed by David Jones. That was Tedrick Washington who tossed that one up there. I'd like to see Indian Hills come out tonight right out of the shoot and play some good basketball. Truth Harris, no good. And here come. The Greyhounds. And the Greyhounds' best win of the year came against Triton. Triton's a quality ball club. We'll see them on the 18th as we go over to River Grove, Illinois, for that one. Shot clock's at 12. They dump it down here to Gordon. And he'll kick it out. And this three-pointer is on the way from Brandon Hall. It's off the mark. And LeCou saves it. Thought about letting it go out of bounds, but then I think he felt the pressure behind him. Grabbed it and brought it in for the Warriors. Colombe for three. Yes, sir. A Morgan's corner three-pointer from Enoch Colombe, and he's got the first five of the night. Brandon, or excuse me, Washington kicks it out, and that three-pointer is on the money from Jaheim Tanksley. Alan Lana Rice watching from Mountain Home, Arkansas. 70 degrees, 70 degrees, they said there. It's actually been pretty nice here as well. We were near 50 today, I think, at least in the 40s. Very pleasant for the third day of January. Warriors lead at 5-3. Don McHenry going baseline. That's tipped and grabbed by Tanksley. They're going to dump it down to the baseline to Trevon Spillers, and now they're working around the perimeter. Three-pointer on the way is too strong off the back of the iron, and LeCou grabs it. And here comes the truth. What sort of consequences lay in store for Moberly tonight? And it's going to be our first foul of the ball game. That'll go against Noah Gordon. First rules and fraction of the game on either team. Truth Harris from about 16 is no good. Rattled in and out. Last year when we played Moberly, it was at the IMO Challenge. And you remember uh, we got the win there and Eddie on Toronto went off with nine three-pointers, which is a school record tied with Taj Anderson who had nine three-pointers last year. Gets John A. Logan. So a school record for single season games. Up and under, wouldn't go. And a flurry of action on both ends has led to no buckets. Still 5 3 Warriors. And LeCou couldn't handle it. It'll go out of bounds, and it's going to be Warrior basketball. Kai Oliver and Trevion LeBeau will check in.
Down the lane, Oliver went for the slam, and he is fouled. Kai Oliver looking to check the facility. Check the structure of this place, and uh, he got fouled on the way in there by Trevon Spillers. That's his first, second team foul, and Kai goes to the free throw line. That one's no good. And Oliver gets one of two. Warriors lead is six to three. Going baseline was Brandon Hall. Now he gives it up to Noah Gordon. No good. Kai Oliver's got it. And here we come up the floor. Don McHenry is off the glass. No good. And LeBeau going for the slam. And he's going to be fouled. He'll go to the line. Second foul on Noah Gordon, and that's not uh, good news for the Greyhounds. Depth can be an issue for Moberly. Of course, nobody has, I don't think, the depth that Indian Hills has. LeBeau gets the first. Trevion's a 56.3% free throw shooter. Rayshon Ambrose is set to check in. And Devontae Hall comes on for Truth Harris. Kalambe also uh, goes out for the Warriors. We've got Jones, Hall, McHenry, LeBeau, and Oliver on the floor for the Warriors. And LeBeau got them both. The Warrior lead is 8-3. to three. Ambrose just into the ball game. He's going to give it up to Brandon Hall. And they kick it out for three, and it is good. That is Trevon Spillers, who averages 12 a half a game. And we've got an 8-6 ball game. Nice play there by Hall to save it, but he couldn't get enough on it to keep from throwing it away. And missing the dunk off the great defense from Hall to get in the way. Brandon Hall missed the dunk, and we throw it away. 8-6 Indian Hills right now. Coach Hank is going to send Truth Harris back into the ballgame. The Warriors won that contest last year, 82-73. Before that, the last time we played, barring possibly the COVID year, was in 2018, where we beat Moberly at Moberly 93-80. That was on December 12th of 2018. Under 15 minutes here in the first half. Tedrick Washington being hounded out there by Kai Oliver. Ambrose looking to get in the action. Truth Harris knocks it away. Loose ball. Everybody wants a piece of it, and the Greyhounds come up with it. Nice dish there, and a slam by Spillers. That was good ball movement. On that one. Now we have a foul on Brandon Hall. That's the fourth team foul on the Greyhounds. 76 in Miami. Oh, boy. That'd be all right. Hopefully the Warriors can heat it up in the Hellier Center tonight. Kai Oliver has that shot blocked. Good hustle play by Kai. It's going to go out of bounds, but I like the effort. Laku is going to check in for David Jones. Eight six in the early goings.
into the lane. Now pull back. Washington got it from about 16 feet. And we are, it's now 10-8, excuse me. Yeah, 10-8 in favor of the Greyhounds, their first lead of the basketball game. No good from Kai Oliver. Step through, shot no good. They follow it up and get the bucket. Spiller's got the bucket and timeout Indian Hills as we trail it 12 to 8. We'll come back on Go Hills TV powered by JBS right after this. Moberly showing a little full court pressure here, the 1 2 2. McHenry fighting through it. A lot of contact. No call. Truth Harris dumps it down. Trevion LeBeau puts it in. Nice play there by the Warriors. Good find by Truth. Good finish by Trevion. It's 12-10. Warriors in demand to man. That's going to get loose. And they're going to say it was off of Enoch. It'll be... Greyhound basketball. Now the Warriors will be back here at the Hellier Center this Saturday against Kansas City, Kansas Community College. And then we go on the road for a couple of games with ranked teams. The 14th, we go over to Southeastern. That should be a good one. They're currently ranked 20th. And then on the 20, or then we play number 24, Triton. And that is on the 18th. So... Tell you what, our schedule is daunting this year. Turn over there on the Warriors. 14-10 in favor of the Greyhounds. Twelve thirty-two left to go in the opening half of basketball. We welcome your shout-outs. Rod Witt is tuned in. We'd love to know where you're watching from. It's awesome to have you tuned in here. Into the lane. That's probably too many steps, and it was on Ambrose, Rashawn Ambrose. One, two, two, full court pressure here by the Greyhounds. Oh, we had LeCou. All but wide open under the hoop. Didn't find him. Now we're going to have a foul. That is the fifth foul on the Greyhounds. And the Warriors have none. 12.09 to go in the first half of play. Harris set to bring it in to Don McHenry. He will let it fly, and that is no good. Warriors. Moving them away from the basket here. Long three-pointer is no good. Grabbed by Colombe. Colombe has five points in this one. Down the lane. Kicks to Truth Harris. Yes, sir. Truth Harris with the first consequence of the night on the Morgan's Corner three-pointer. Coming off six the last time out. And a 37-point performance. Off the glass, no good. Loose ball. LeCou's got it, and he gives it off to Trebby. LeBeau into the lane, trying to go to the corner to Harris, and it's knocked away. Now it's going to go out of bounds, and that'll be Warrior basketball. We've got a media timeout on the floor, and we're going to stay here. Hi from Connecticut, Jim and Liz. K-U-H-N, is that pronounced Kuhn? And Davin Ziegler, D-Zig. Shouting out to Kristen. We shout out to D-Zig. Young man, we really enjoyed watching play basketball here at Indian Hills. And yeah, man, could he leap. And out of Cleveland, Ohio. And uh, great to hear from D-Zig. Truth Harris. Gives it up to McHenry. Greyhounds. And the man-to-man. -man. They'll play a little bit of everything, and they'll mix it up, as we heard from Coach Hank in the pregame. Dezig with a nice crossover and puts it in. Or, excuse me, McHenry. I got Dezig on the mind. That's my man, Dr. Smooth, Don McHenry, with that basket. Don out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 
And the Warriors take the 15-14 lead. Wraparound by Ambrose. That uh, shot was blocked right into the hands of Ambrose. And now the long three-pointer on the way is just off the mark from the left arm of Xavier Sykes, the freshman. But it goes out of bounds off of R.J. Ogham. Esteline Jones and Helena Jones watching in Sacramento. There's a slam dunk there for Trevon Spillers. That's his second of the night. It says 46 degrees in Sacramento. 16-15, Moberly grabs the lead. 10 minutes, 20 seconds left to go into half. McHenry down the lane, floats it in, and Don now has four on the night. Warriors keeping the pressure on. The depth of the Warriors really tends to wear on teams in the second half. Long three-pointer again is off the mark from Xavier Sykes. He's been uh, not even in the neighborhood the last two. Colombe finds R.J. Ogham, who finds the bucket. Yes, sir. Ogham with the Morgan's Corner three-pointer. We got a timeout now by Coach Pat Smith. And the Warriors have the four-point lead, 20-16. to 16. We're in the U.S. Bank broadcast booth, and we'll come back on Go Hills TV, powered by J.B. Shout-out to Shauna Lewis, tuned in, says, Go Warriors from Waterloo. Welcome in, Shauna. I wonder, there's probably a connection there with Trevi LeBeau, who's out of Waterloo, Iowa. Three-pointer on the way is on the money. Brandon Hall was feeling it. Talking to Coach Hank before the game, he said, these guys can shoot. You've got to play good defense if you give them open looks. they got some guys that can knock it down. Harris into the lane, and that'll be a foul on the Greyhounds. Barb Kolakowski, Aunt Barbara, and Uncle Stephen watching from Avon, Connecticut. Love you, Warriors. And Marion McDermott Walsh from Kansas City. Hey, Marion. We waved at you when we went through on New Year's Eve. I don't know if you saw us or not, but Titus was hanging out the window, hollering, Marion! <laughs> Devontae Hall, no good. David Jones tried, but couldn't get it. 20 to 19, Warriors in the lead. And the Warriors will be in the bonus the rest of the way here. Blocked out of there by David Jones as Chris Grubbs was trying to get it up and in. And Jones said, no, the park is closed. The moose out front should have told you. Crowd continuing to roll in a little bit here tonight. Not a bad crowd, really, for uh, the 3rd of January with some folks still on break. Student body has not returned here to campus. No good. Grabbed by Devontae. And he'll come out of there with it. Here come the Warriors. Kai Oliver. No good. David Jones got it. Fights his way to the bucket, and that's blocked out of there. They dump it in to Spillers, who's having a solid night. And the Greyhounds take the one-point lead at 20 to or 21 to 20. Hall down to the corner, Kai Oliver. Excuse me, Truth, uh, or that was R.J. Ogham, my bad. Devontae, a little stop and go. Some fancy dribbling gives it up to Truth. And that's off the mark. And we're going to have a foul. And I think that's going to be against the Greyhounds. That's going to be a push on Chris Grubbs. That'll be his seventh. And that will send Kai Oliver to the free throw line, a 78.6% free throw shooter. Go Hills TV, powered by JBS. Russ W. Oker from the U.S. Bank Broadcast Booth. Our high-definition cameras tonight provided by Dr. Mark Altfellish of the Optical Shop. He'll tie it up. LeBeau back on the floor for Indian Hills. Now 
That one's off the front of the iron. No good. So with 7.44 left in the first half, we're all squared 21 apiece. Oliver Hall, Harris, LeBeau, and Jones on the floor for the Warriors. And that one is off the mark. Now McHenry and Colombe will check back in for Indian Hills. And the Greyhounds stay in the full court. We need to get some easy buckets out of this press. It's like just a man-to-man -man pressure here. That's up ahead to Hall. Hall with a fancy pass to the corner to LeBeau. Now Don McHenry down the lane, and that's blocked out of there. They have presented some problems with the block shots. Spillers is long. Inside to Spillers. His shot is good. 23-21. Greyhounds with the lead. McHenry gives it up to Colombe. Enoch down the lane, floats it up and in. Colombe's got seven. And again, I'm predicting 20-plus out of him tonight. You heard it here first. 15, though, right now for Spillers. And so he's been a problem in the early goings. He's going to try for three. That one's no good. Grabbed by Devontae Hall, and here he comes up the floor out of Chicago, Illinois. Gives it up to Don. Don will pull back. Now he'll give it a try. Off the front of the iron, no good. We're tied at 23 with 6.07 to go in the first half of basketball. Ryan Myers is getting set to check in. Myers is a guy, I keep looking for him to have a big game. He's had a few this year, and he's ready to get rolling again, I think. No good, but another rebound. Third opportunity on this trip down the floor for the Greyhounds. Floater is in from Jaheim Tanksley. He's got five. He's their leading scorer coming in with 14.4, a contest. And a two-point lead for the Greyhounds. Now they've fallen into a little bit of a zone. Three-pointer from McHenry. Yes, sir. Don McHenry's on the money, and Don's got seven with the Morgan's Corner three-pointer. And Warriors take the lead back. Back and forth we go here in the first half. 4.54 to go. From the U.S. Bank broadcast booth. Armas behind the back. Nice pass there from Armas or Ambrose. Leaving it for Spillers, and that'll put Spillers on the free throw line. He's a 53.6% free throw shooter. First foul of the half. We're under five minutes to go, and that's the first foul on the Warriors here in the half, and that comes uh, from Don McHenry, who broke the rules on that one. And two shots here coming for Spillers. That's good. Auntie Rachel watching uh, Jones in Springfield, Missouri. All right. Marion Walsh, I saw the picture of KC and asked Eddie if they were in town, but we're traveling back to school. So always good to hear from Marion, and we wish Braxton the very best at Niagara. He got them both. 53.6% on the season, but he made it look easy there. And the Greyhounds take back the one-point lead. It's a one-point Moberly lead with 4.47 to go in the opening half of basketball. The Warriors' first home game since the loss here at the Howard Center to Northeast Oklahoma A&M on the 10th of December. It's Taco John's night here at the Howard Center, so Taco Tuesday. They trap right at midcourt, and they knock it free and take it away. 
And that is laid up and in by Xavier Sykes. And Coach Hank wants a timeout. Moberly and Coach talked about this. They mix up their defense a lot. So you never know exactly what to expect. 29-26. We're back on Go Hills TV, powered by JBS right after this. McHenry, Colombe, Harris, LeBeau, and LeCou on the floor for the Warriors. Now Truth going to fire up the floor and beat that pressure. Had a little pick and roll there, did LeCou and McHenry. Colombe dumps it inside to LeBeau. LeBeau hangs in the air, and his shot is derailed. 29-26, Greyhounds. Overly 12 and 3 on the year. They're looking for a big signature win. Step back. A good uh, step out defensively by LeBeau. Spillers, he's got 15 and or 17 now in the half. He gave it up. And this one is good from Rayshon Ambrose. And it's a five-point lead for Moberly with 3.40 to go in the half. Harris gets it over half court. LeBeau hangs, puts it up. It wouldn't go. Tip back by LeCou. Well, they gave LeBeau. LeBeau actually tipped his own miss. Spillers is fouled on the way by there by Trevion, I believe. Yep, LeBeau got him. Just the second foul of the half on the Warriors. We have another stoppage of play here. Media timeout. We got a full timeout here. Coming up at halftime, we'll recognize our national champion cheerleaders, uh, their championship from last year. That's coming up at the half. And so during this break, why don't we stay here and take a look at the performance by the Indian Hills cheerleaders. Warriors trail by three. And when we come out of the break, Spillers will be going to the free throw line. Richwell Carpet and Cabinet Center is a family-owned business serving the Ottumwa area since 1994. They are experts in the design and installations of all of the products they sell for commercial or residential. And insurance can be complicated in Bloomfield and Centerville. Northside insurance can help. Whether it's auto, home, business, health, or life, the staff at Northside Insurance will take the time to understand your situation. As an independent insurance ag agency, they have the access to multiple companies so they can find you a great rate and get, make sure you've got great coverage. Quote to claim, they'll take care of you at Northside Insurance, Bloomfield, and Centerville. Spillers, again, 53.6% on the year from the free throw line, but he's 3 of 3 tonight. And he's got 18 points in the first half. Make it 19. We'll have to try to find an answer for him in the locker room. Ball comes into Colombe, and he's going to dribble up the sideline, then to the middle of the floor. Nice jump stop. Gives it off to Truth. Truth shimmy shake spin. Finds McHenry. McHenry for three. Yes, sir. Dr. Smooth with the Morgan's Corner three-pointer. And Don, uh, Don's got 10 now on the night. Two-point contest with 2.50 to go here in the first half. That is good from Rayshon Ambrose. Truth. Dribbles, hangs, blocking foul. He'll go to the free throw line. Truth is a 78.8% free throw shooter. First 
Hall now has two fouls. That's the eighth team foul on the Greyhounds. It's just two for the Warriors in the first half. Bellevue, Bellevue University is a proud partner and supporter of Indian Hills Community College. All credits from an associate's degree will transfer to Bellevue. There are over 50 undergraduate and 30 graduate degrees online to choose from. Call Jeremy Crump at 402-650-9885. Harris trying to go two for two here. And he does. And Truth now has five. Spillers goes to Sykes. Sykes gets the basket and the foul. That one's going to go against David Hermes. That is his first and the third team foul. And Leroy Odiehi comes in for the Warriors. Leroy had an ankle injury. Then he was a little under the weather. Now he's back out there. Sykes got that one to go. And the lead goes back to five for the Greyhounds. McHenry to the middle to Truth Harris. Harris bumped and hammered. And he'll go to the free throw line with 2.15 to go. Darla Francis wanted to be there, but watching from home tonight as the bronchitis bug has hit Brad. Well, Brad, uh, hopefully he gets to feeling better real, real soon. I'm glad to be able to bring it to you. It is such an honor to have the ability to do what we do and to uh, be uh, your Indian Hills Connection, the official broadcast network of Indian Hills Community College. We've got some great things coming for you in the new year as well, even non-sports related. We've got a new segment coming called Ask Andy. Andy Summers is the head of our automobile uh, tech department and a great guy. And so uh, had staff members, a whole bunch of folks have sent in some auto questions. It'll be probably a little one-and-a-half to two-minute segment where Andy will give us some auto tips. Ask Andy. Watch for that coming later this month, hopefully. Truth got them both again. And it's a three-point contest with... 2.05 to go in the first half. Jaheim Tanksley is number two. He's looking to find his way to the hoop. Now he shoots it back out to Washington. The Warriors jump Tedrick Washington trying to cause problems. Shot clock's at four. Into the lane. They find Spillers. No good. He can miss. Here comes Kalambe. Enoch changes directions. Goes into the lane. Gives it up to Truth. To the corner. Don McHenry wanted to. Now he finds R.J. Ogham. R.J. to Colombe. And miscommunication there, and the Warriors turn it over. As R.J. went one direction, and Colombe threw it the other. Trevi LeBeau is going to come in for R.J. Ogham. And with a buck 28 to go in the opening half, it's a three-point Moberly lead. They swing it around the perimeter. Sykes dumps it to Spillers. Spillers trying to go to the hoop. Oh, a touch foul there. Wow, not much there. I think they're going to call. They call Leroy. All right, well, it's hard to complain because they haven't really called very many fouls on us this half, but there wasn't a whole lot there. And now we're trying to find a defensive answer for Spillers, who has 19 in the first half. Shot clock at 10. Sykes high off the glass. Wouldn't go. Spillers got the rebound. And he is fouled. He'll go to the line. Devontae Hall goes to check in for Indian Hills. Hindman Person Heating and Cooling. Dale and Karen Person are Indian Hills Hall of Famers. And they are an award-winning assemble business. Stay cool or warm with Hindman Person Heating and Cooling. 6 4 one 682 3922. This guy has not missed a free throw tonight. 
Five of five now, and he came in shooting 53.6 from the charity stripe. And he now has 20 points on the night. Make it 21, according to live stats. And it's back to five. Forty-five seconds to go in the half. McHenry, shimmy shake, looking for LeBeau. LeBeau has it knocked away, and he'll go to the free throw line. Nineteen, I guess, is what Live Stats is showing here for Trevon Spillers. The big board has him at seventeen. Either way, it's a bushel basket for the first half. LeBeau, a fifty-six point three percent free throw shooter, he's two of two tonight from the line, and he'll have a couple of freebies here. Got it. (laughs) Kathy Jarvis watching the Warriors from Lexington, Virginia. That one's too strong. Four-point lead, Moberly. 37 seconds left to go in the half. Spillers is going to give it up to Washington, and they'll work it across around the perimeter here. Warriors extending the defense out here. You've got to be careful. Let's keep an eye on Spillers. Loose ball. That was a great save there by the Greyhounds, and what a basket on that one by Ambrose. And it's a six-point game, 10 seconds to go in the half. Five seconds. Colombe to the corner. Don McHenry needs to get a shot up, and we won't even get a shot off before the buzzer, and it'll be 42 to 36 going into the locker room. And our Sidney McNeely will get a comment from Coach Hank before he goes into the locker room. Of course I am. I'm home on break. Where else would I want to be but at the Warrior basketball game? So she's excited to be here cheering on her Warriors. Moberly will have it to come out of the locker room. 42-36. Uh, they're in the lead in 20 minutes. Yet to go. We'll see what the Warriors bring here in the second half. So a little bit different lineup out there than what we started with, with uh, Devontae Hall on the floor. In lieu of Don McHenry, who McHenry had 10 in the first half. That shot is off the mark. Spiller is trying to get to it, but it goes out off of Spiller's. I think the first three to five minutes here will show what game plan we've come up with for Trayvon Spiller's. Comes into the corner to Colombe, and he'll give it up to Truth. Truth into the lane, gives it back. Enoch for three. No good. David Jones uh, didn't quite get the eight-second ride, but he should get a good score out of that. As he was on the back. It was one of those where you go up in the air and not a whole lot uh, that he can do. But it's going to be a foul, actually, on Moberly. So when David went up, they come in underneath him, says the officials. So the Warriors are benefactors of that foul call. Truth Harris baseline. Now it's knocked away and taken away. Noel Gordon is tuned in, says hi to Cam Hendricks. She loves Cam. Of course, Cam graduated from the Centerville campus of Indian Hills Community College. Tedrick Washington. Now in the lane and a left-handed floater is good by Jaheim Tanksley. He averages 14 a contest. He's got a seven now in this one. And the largest lead of the game for Moberly is eight. Columbia to the corner. Hall for three. Yes, sir. Devontae Hall. With a Morgan's corner three-pointer for the Warriors and 44-39. Now, again, one of the things we've got to do, we've got to force some turnovers here in this second half. They only turned it over twice in the first half, so they certainly had an answer for our pressure. Spillers, they got it over with just a couple of seconds left to go. Tanksley has it knocked away, but right into the hands of Noah Gordon. Doc got it. Three-pointer on the way is on the money. 
That is Tanksley. We don't let him get heated up either. The lead is back to eight. Harris for Jones. And now LeCou as we work it around the perimeter. And now they appear to be in a man-to-man. -man. Colombe to the corner. Truth Harris. No. David Jones tips it. No go. Indian Hills 15 and 1 on the year. Moberly 12 and 3. That's no good. Grab by Truth Harris. And here come the Warriors. Up the floor to Colombe. Enoch trying to back down Tanksley. Squeezes it into LeCou, and he is fouled by Noah Gordon, and that'll be his third. He got two quickly in the first half, and then we didn't see much out of him. And now he gets the foul there, and that'll send LeCou to the free throw line. Second team foul of the half on the Greyhounds. Alan Rice wants to know when will Eddie be back, and I don't have that answer for you. Yeah, we all miss him, want to see him back very soon, so we hope for the best. LeCou is a 73.9% free throw shooter, but he missed both of those. Rashawn Ambrose is number 12 for Moberly. Tanksley gives it to the corner to Tedrick Washington, who goes down the baseline. His shot is no good, but we're going to have a rules infraction called against the Warriors. That'll go against LeCou. That is his first, first team foul on the Warriors here of the second half, and that sends Tedrick Washington, a 76.5% free throw shooter, to the line. The first one is no good. Kai Oliver will check in for Indian Hills. We've got to find a spark. We've got to get a little momentum going here. Missed them both. So on back-to-back -back trips here on our end and in their end, two guys that shoot free throws in the 70s, LeCou for us and Washington for them, missed two free throws. How about that? And miscommunication again by the Warriors. Floor vision not there. Harris trying to get everybody up for some pressure. Turnovers, a bit of a problem for us tonight at nine, and again, just two for them. Spillers gives it up for Ambrose, and he is all net. He's got nine. He averages nine. Nine and a half. 11-point Moberly lead. Indian Hills. Trying to find some energy. Colombe down the lane. Puts it up. No good. Grabbed by Kai Oliver. He's hammered. Basket and a foul. Good hustle. Good work by Kai Oliver. He's brought the energy tonight. I've been impressed with his motor. And Don McHenry will come on for Devontae Hall. Kai is a 78.6% free throw shooter. And that goes off the front of the iron. What's going on with the free throws tonight? As Kai is now 2 of 5 from the charity stripe. Nine-point Greyhound lead. 16.02 to go. And there's going to be a foul called. They're going to say Colombe got him. That's the first on Enoch. Second team foul on the Warriors. And the shot clock will reset to 20, and they'll bring it in with an easy bucket right under the hoop. Kedrick Washington was the benefactor, or excuse me, Ambrose was the benefactor of that inbounds. Bucket and the lead's back to 11.
McHenry. Don dumps it for Colombe, who spins and goes baseline. A lot of hip there. McHenry throws it away. We're rattled right now. Moberly is confusing us, it looks like, defensively. And that's about the third time tonight where you went left and I threw right, or you went right and I threw left, and didn't work out. But ultimately, in my uh, opportunity to get to know Hank over the last couple of years, he's always going to point the defense first. And so we've got to pick up the defensive intensity and try to make some things happen offensively a little easier. R.J. Ogum on the floor for the Warriors. We switch off there. Tedrick Washington, a little hop and go. Tanksley from way out there is no good. And thankfully, Truth is able to save that as it went off of Colombe. Now, he tries to get it up ahead, taken away by Tanksley. Another turnover on the Warriors. And that's going to be a foul. Coach Hank looks down the bench to try to find an answer as things are not going our way right now against the Greyhounds out of Overly. Linda DeVolt, Linda Vanderlinden and tuned in. That's going to go against Truth Harris. Let's go Warriors from Arizona. Dwight Oliver tuned in. All right. Let's go Kaitheski. Is that what he calls him? Kaitheski? Is that a nickname? Did I say that right? We have a timeout on the floor. The Warriors trail by 12. We need some answers. 14.50 to go. We're in the U.S. Bank broadcast booth on Go Hills TV. Powered by JBS. Coming back after this. Well, we're going to stay here. We do have the interview uh, with uh, Sidney McNeely, who's caught up with uh, Coach Lindsey Dial. The softball schedule, I think, is out. So we'll go down to the floor now. Twelve point lead for Moberly, and they're going to the free throw line to try to add to that. Indian Hills with 14.50 to go. Still plenty of time left, but we gotta find a spark. We gotta get something going. Trying to find out who's gonna be the guy to step up and lead us back tonight. 54-41 now as Tanksley got that one. Harris dribbles through the traffic, wraps it around, and we turn it over again. As Kai couldn't handle that one now. Ryan Myers is going to check in, see if he can bring a little something to us. Ryan out of Brooklyn, New York, 6'2 sophomore. To the bucket. Wouldn't go. Kai Oliver has it. Kai up the floor will now pull back to the corner. Treb LeBeau. LeBeau spins now into the lane and good. Trevion LeBeau with the bucket. Much needed bucket for the Warriors. An 11-point lead from Moberly with 13.58 left. Tanksley gives it up for Tedrick Washington and now Ambrose, who's been pretty solid tonight. Tanksley and Oliver have a little contact. No call. Three-pointer is no good. And Ryan Myers has it. Near he comes. Myers changes directions. Trying to get to the bucket. He's bumped. Shot is good, but they'll call no basket. The foul's going to be on the floor. Devontae Hall will come for Truth Harris, and Enoch will come in for Kai Oliver. Ryan Myers will be the inbounder for the Warriors. Underneath, LeBeau. Got it. Trevion LeBeau, he's got nine now. And it's a nine-point Moberly lead. The 
This is again where you hope that the depth of Indian Hills has wore on Moberly. There's a turnover forced by LeBeau. Kalambe will be the man to bring it in bounds for the Warriors. Myers guarded by Sykes, gives it up for Trev. It's the high screen from David. Now we swing it to Monte, thought about it, spins. And he throws it away. Oh, boy. And Ambrose slams it in. That was, unfortunately, too much phoning ahead about that one. And it's back to 11. That's going to be out of bounds, Warrior Basketball. Hey, uh, Josie Shackle watching from Alaska. Member of our volleyball team, great kid. Josie, hope you had a great holiday. Hope you're staying warm up there in your home state of Alaska. She lives on Shackle Road or Shackle Drive, Shackle Lane. They've named it after the family. How about that? LeBeau got his man in the air. Now he goes to the basket and offensive foul on LeBeau. I can't necessarily argue with that call, but that's one where I think you let him play on. Not a lot of contact there. A instant replay is provided by River Community Credit Union. I saw that as a play on, but again, I don't have the whistle, so Sykes gives it up for Ambrose. And we have a whistle. That'll be Moberly Ball underneath. That one's going to go against McHenry. Now Truth Harris sent to check back in. He'll come in for LeBeau. LeBeau with just the one foul. So that's not an issue right now. The issue is we got to find somebody to get us going. we got to play a little bit better defense. we got to quit turning the ball over. 56-45 from Moberly. Spillers with his left hand, and it stayed on the rim and went in. When it's your night, it's your night. And he's got 23 now. And Moberly with a 13-point lead, their largest of the contest. Truth. Trying to get to the bucket, goes to the corner, and we turn it over. And right now, just not crisp at all for the Warriors. Ryan Myers is going to come in for truth. Warriors keeping the pressure on, trying to wear down this Moberly squad. That one is no good. Tipped right into their hands. Shot is up and good. And, boy, you start to get the feeling of, wow. I mean, they're playing hard, playing well, and then catching the breaks as well, and you make your own breaks, right? I mean, the Warriors trail by 15 with 11.08 to go. And we have a foul here against number 12, Ambrose. That is the second foul on Rayshon Ambrose. Fifth team foul on Moberly. McHenry. Going to go to the corner. Devontae Hall. Hall into the lane and probably traveled and he did. And the turnover is just mounting. And Coach Hank wants a timeout. That's turnover number 16 against the Warriors and just three on Moberly. Well, we've got some work to do. We trail at 60 to 45. Still a lot of basketball left. 10.55 to go. We're back on Go Hills TV, powered by JBS. It is a 15-point Moberly lead. As the Warriors are trying to find a spark here and make a run at this. Tanksley will give it back here to Ambrose. Moberly defeated Triton in the IMO Challenge. 
And that's their biggest win of the year at the moment. They're trying to get a signature win here. Don McHenry thought that was off of them, so he let it go. And unfortunately, it was not. According to the official, it was off of us. So shot clock at seven, Moberly basketball. Tanksley. Too strong, grabbed by David Jones. Jones turns it over, trying to dribble through traffic. Too much me basketball tonight, maybe. Not making good decisions with the ball. Three-pointer. No good, grabbed by Ryan Myers. Ryan, crossover. And a travel, which I don't know what that, I didn't see that, but I think that's one of those where he blew the whistle and didn't, didn't really know what to do. So I don't, maybe I missed it, but I didn't see it. Line change for the Warriors RJ Ogham, Devontae Hall, Truth Harris, Colombe, and Oliver. And we've got a timeout. Ten minutes even to go. High-definition cameras provided tonight by Dr. Mark Altfellish at the Optical Shop. We'll take a break. We'll come back. It's a 15-point Moberly lead with 10 minutes even to go. The Warriors have not forced... Very many turnovers, just three in this ballgame. Moberly has taken care of the basketball. They were ready to go against the Warrior pressure tonight. Spiller's trying to back down Colombe. He does. Oliver comes in, gets a piece of it. Follow-up is no good, and Colombe has it. Now, we, on the other hand, have turned it over 18 times, and that spells no good. Colombe's shot is swatted out of there by Spiller's. I swear his, long, his arms are like nine feet long on each side. He's reached out and swatted that one. Devontae Hall. No. Spillers with the rebound. We need some Morgan's Corner three-pointers in a hurry. And we've got to get some stops. Spillers, too easy down there. Puts it in. He's got 23. Harris rolls it over and in. 25 for Spillers, that is. Truth Harris now has nine. 15-point lead Moberly. We got to make a run at him. Sykes wouldn't go, but they got the board. Tanksley. Wide open look. Nothing but net. 65 47 timeout, Coach Hank. And I think that might be our last timeout. The Warriors trail by 18 to Moberly. The Greyhounds have brought the bus and parked it right in the middle of the floor on us tonight. But they're not allowing anybody on board. We'll come back after this. It is an 18-point Moberly lead. The Warriors next will play Kansas City, Kansas on Saturday here at the Hellier Center. And then we'll go on the road on the 14th to Burlington. And then the next Wednesday, the 18th, we will go to Triton. Don McHenry. No. LeCou wouldn't go, but a whistle. And let's see who they got here. They got number 21, number 12, Ambrose, and that'll send LeCou to the free throw line. LeCou got it. Schroeder Graphics, where our business makes your business look good. Schroeder Graphics, call them today at 641-682-6889. Check them out online at sgsignllc.com. sgsignllc.com. Well, let's see if the Warriors have a run in them.
Tanksley. That's no good, but they're right there to get it. And that just won't work. Spillers is really having a night. 27. And he has been more than we've been able to handle. And he has been the difference. He's been Johnny on the spot. He's been strong defensively. Ambrose trying to squeeze it through to Spillers. And we're able to knock that away and take it away. Harris to Don McHenry. McHenry dumps it to LeCou. LeCou, little finger roll, good. 67-53. Knocked free by Colombe. McHenry to Devontae Hall. He goes over here to Truth Harris. No good. Out of bounds. Warrior basketball. We'll get another chance. Right now, the Warriors are 6 of 18 from behind the three-point line for 33.3%. And now 6 of 19 after that one, so 31.6%. And I think we have a media timeout. 60, or maybe a timeout taken by Moberly. 67.50. We are going to need some help here. 67.53. We've got to get going, so we need you to cheer loud. <laughs> Marion McDermott Walsh, I'm hungry for a turkey club from Godfrey's. You bet you. Can't go wrong with anything from Godfrey's. That is good stuff. Off the inbounds to LeCou. It rolled in. 12-point ball game. Warriors trying to pick up the intensity a little bit here on the full court. Knocked loose there by Colombe. So I like that. The energy is better. 7.07 to go. And that one comes in to... Chris Grubbs, who we haven't seen a lot of in this one. Now we go under the seven-minute mark. Washington to the bucket. Hangs. No good. But they get the board. Shot is up. No good. On the floor. Loose ball. Warrior basketball. Coach Smith certainly wanted a foul there, but he's not going to get it. And uh, he's not necessarily happy about that one. Six team fouls on Mobley right now. Five on the Warriors. Don McHenry gives it to Colombe. Colombe trying to go to the basket. Hangs in the air. Puts it up. No good. And he'll get his own rebound, though. Now to Truth. Truth is hammered. And he'll go to the free throw line with a one and -on one That foul is going to go against Tedrick Washington. That is the fourth time tonight that he has broke the rules. And it puts us into bonus. Truth Harris with a one and one. Trevion LeBeau comes in for Colombe. 67-55 in favor of the Greyhounds out of Moberly, Missouri. Two very good junior college basketball programs with great histories. One and one for Truth. Warriors 11 of 17 for 64.7% from the charity stripe tonight. And that one's good. That's a big one there. They're all big now as this one's getting late. Six and a half to go in this one. High definition cameras provided by Dr. Mark Altfellish at the Optical Shop. In a tumwa. Truth got them both. Ten point ball game. They're able to beat the pressure again. We got to keep the intensity up. McHenry trying to defend Tanksley. He's able to get it out to a friend, which was Brandon Hall. Shot clock at nine. So the Greyhounds trying to burn some clock. Sykes, no good. LeCou has it, gives it to Truth. Truth. Into the lane. Scoops it up. Good! Truth Harris. Good take by Truth. 67-59. Eight-point ball game. Long pass across court. 5.40 to go. Number 18, Moberly. 12-3 on the year. Number 5, Indian Hills. 15-1 on the year. Tanksley has it swatted. 
And that is knocked loose. It's going to stay with them. A lot of contact there. I think they might have caught a break. I don't, I don't know about that. But. Sykes comes off the floor. Rayshon Ambrose comes back on for them. Coach Sarah Ryder tuned in. Dr. Brett Monahan, Alex McPherson. Coach Lindsey Michelle tuned in. Brian Morgan tuned in. Tom McCabe we're rooting for the Greyhounds of Moberly. Shot clock at five. Brandon Hall got it. That's a big bucket if you're Moberly. Makes it 10 again with 5.18 to go. Kalambe back on the floor. Devontae Hall to Enoch. Enoch comes back out here to Don. Now Devontae. Devontae to the corner. Truth Harris. No. LeCou with the rebound. LeCou puts it up and he's fouled. He'll go to the line. Brandon Hall is drawing and there it is. Technical foul on Brandon Hall. I saw it coming from here. Big turn of events here for the Warriors. And I'm sure Coach Smith will try to protect his player, but he will also let him know you cannot lose your composure like that. That can be huge. Truth Harris will go to the line to shoot the technicals. That is the third foul on Brandon Hall. Nine team fouls now when you tack that one on. Truth Harris will shoot the technical, and then LeCou will have his free throw. So Truth gets a couple. 69-62. Brandon Hall now has three fouls total. Truth couldn't get the second. Doggone it. 69-62. And now LeCou will go to the free throw line for his, and that's how we will resume play. Five minutes to go. Seven-point Moberly lead. The Warriors are out of timeout, so keep that in mind. Look who got it. We have a six-point ball game here at the Hellier Student Life Center. The Warriors trailed by 18 not all that long ago. Making a run here. Do we have the energy to complete it? 4.48 to go. Monte Hall being up tanks late. Shot clock at 10. That is Brandon Hall with the crossover. Now for Spillers, and that is blocked out of there, but that'll be a goal 10. Too easy for Spillers, man. He has just been a problem for us tonight. That's going to be 29 for him. Eight-point lead, 71-63. 4.30 left to go. LeCou wanted the basketball down there but didn't get it. It was too far to try to get it all the way down there. McHenry to the corner, Truth Harris. Hangs in the air, and he is fouled. He'll go to the line. That foul is on Spillers. That'll be just his third. Harris, 7 of 8 from the free throw line today. We need a couple more here. Truth now has 16 in this one. Make it 17. He hasn't been as good from the three-point line, but he has let hard work pay off for him tonight and he has brought some consequences and I'm hoping he's got a few more left in him he's now got 18 and it's a six point game again Spillers will kick it back out Tanksley across the way Ambrose has had a solid night he'll give it back up to Tanksley the shot clock goes to 11 now 10. Tanksley. Too strong, but they tip it out and get another possession. And that may be a moment you want to remember because now they can burn off some more clock and get another chance. To the hoop. Loose ball. Still loose. They're going to get it with five. To the hoop and good by Brandon Hall. And that's the possession. 
that could be the difference in this ball game. A couple of second chances for Moberly. Not for lack of hustle. It's just we couldn't get where we needed to be. 3.36 to go. Eight. It's Taco Tuesday here at the Hellier Center. Taco John's is our presenting sponsor tonight at the Hellier Center. And we need to get a little hot sauce going here. 73-65. The Warriors have made a run. We were down by 18. I just I worry that last possession might become a problem for us. But we've still got time. 3.28 to go. Every possession on our end is huge now. Colombe. He's going to give it a whirl. And it's going to be too strong. LeCou fights for it. Can't get it. And now they can really burn some clock. So we have to have an, one more run left in us. We trail at 73-65. We need some turnovers. Brandon Hall gives it back here to Tedrick Washington. He leaves it for Tanksley. Shot clock is at 9. Tanksley into the lane, goes back out. Three-pointer from Ambrose is no good. Spillers is out of bounds. So here we go. We got a score here, 2.50 to go. We need the crowd to get into it a little bit here. The energy is a little low right at the moment at the Hellier Center. Columbia to the middle of the floor to Truth. Truth into the lane. And that's going to go out of bounds. And unfortunately, they knocked it back down off of Truth. And that is, again, we've seen a number of things kind of go their way tonight. But again, you make your own breaks. They're playing hard. They get the block shot. And unfortunately for us, it lands right back down on Truth. Now with 2.38 to go, time is becoming a serious issue, trailing by eight. Will there be enough in the tank for the Warriors here? And we're going to start fouling a little bit. That goes against Colombe. That'll be just his second. Tanksley to the hoop. No good, but guess who got it? And now he's fouled. We just have not had an answer for Spillers tonight. He's got 29, and he's going to go to the line to try to add to it. 2.19 to go. Trevion LeBeau checks in for Colombe. Trevon Spillers. Got it to go. That shot was so far off the mark. <laughs> and he's had a heck of a night. I'm not taking anything away from the kid, but sometimes when it's just your night, it's your night. Uh, free throw-wise, he is 6 of 6, and he came in shooting 53.6 from the free throw line. He's not missed tonight. That one rattled out on him. Nine-point game, 2-16 to go. Truth Harris. Changes directions, goes to the corner. Don McHenry trying to find a friend. Finds Devontae Hall, who lost the handle, but got it back. Devontae to Don. Don for three. No good. LeCou can't get it, and we're under two minutes now, and it's a nine-point ball game, and we just haven't been able to find somebody with a hot hand tonight. With a buck 40 to go. Truth trying to get the steal. That should be over and back, and it is. Because he was the last to touch it. Now Pat Smith wants the foul, or, and maybe he has a beef there. But All right, this is a vital possession for the Warriors. Trailing by nine. I think we got to get a good look at a three-pointer here. And we can't waste too much time to do it. McHenry. To the corner. Colombe to the basket. That's too strong. It's out of bounds. Warrior basketball. A buck 23 to go. Trailing by nine. We have no timeouts. Harris to McHenry. Back to Truth. No good. It's not there tonight. It doesn't look like. As time is tick, tick, ticking away on us. 
And I'll go back to that possession with about four minutes to go when we just couldn't get the basketball. They had three opportunities, and we couldn't couldn't capitalize and get out of there with the basketball and get this thing. At the time, I believe we were trailing by six, I think. And we could have gotten it, you know, obviously to four or three. Made it a one-possession game at that point. We had a chance to do that, and we just couldn't get the handle on it. And that, to me, that was your ball game. That was a, a pivotal position late. Possession, I should say. Ten-point lead. That one's no good. Here we go. Up the floor. Truth Harris. Got to find some shots right away. McHenry. Colombe tried to get it down in, and they knock it out of there. And with 53 seconds to go and a 10-point lead, it's looking very bleak right now for the Warriors. This will be a huge win if they can hold on for Moberly. Moberly ranked 18th in the, in the country. So this is a quality basketball team. We talked about this. So it made that Dodge City win so big as we're coming into a stretch of games here with no patsies. Kansas City, Kansas will come to town. They've won seven in a row coming into tonight anyway. They'll come to town on Saturday. And then we go to Burlington a week from Saturday. So we're going to be tested a lot here. Again, it's about getting better. It's about being ready for the for the end of the season, obviously. This will this is our seventh team we played that's currently in the rankings. Lacou couldn't get it, tipped up, wouldn't go. And they're out of bounds. That should be Warrior Basketball with 33 seconds to go. We trail by 11. Their defense, I think, has been very good. They've made everything tough on us, and we turn it over again. And with 27 seconds to go, we just about get the turnover. It'll be their basketball. 24.4 to go. For Moberly fans, they'll have Southwest Illinois on Saturday in Moberly. And then on the 11th, they have State Fair in Moberly. And then on the 14th, They'll go back on the road at Mineral Area. Again, the Warriors have Kansas City, Kansas on the 7th. Then we're at Southeastern over in Burlington on the 14th. They're ranked 20th. And then we're at number 24, Triton, on the 18th. So challenges coming our way for sure. With 23 seconds to go, we now trail by 12 in this one. We'll have our post-game interview coming up with Coach Hank Polona after the game. 78-65. In favor of Moberly. Truth. Trying to get it in, and he's going to be fouled. And he's limping a little bit. I don't like to see that. First foul. 16.5 to go. Ruth got that one. Truth Harris now with 19 tonight. And will foul with 13, but 12-point game. I'm not sure there's even enough time at this point to get it done. Twenty turnovers for Indian Hills, just six for them. That to me is the biggest difference. We shot at thirty nine point six percent. They shot at forty two percent. Seventy nine sixty six with thirteen and a half to go. And Moberly is going to come out of here feeling pretty good about themselves. 
They're going to knock off the number five team in the country in Indian Hills. Harris will try to make it 20 on the night. And he does. The Warriors had it to six after trailing by 18, but that's as close as we could get. And with time ticking away, the officials don't want to call the foul. They want this thing over. It's a 12-point game, 6.2 to go. And so they let some time run off before they call it. That's just veteran officiating there, probably. Lettering wanted the jump ball. <laughs> well, the Warriors are going to go to 15 and 2. No sense to hit any panic buttons. You know, it's a long basketball season. Again, as we've talked before, only five teams have ever had undefeated seasons. So you're going to. You play the schedule we play, you're going to drop some games along the way. It's all about being ready to go come March. This doesn't change anything as far as aspirations of making a run at a national championship. Truth Harris, yes, sir. And that's how this one will end. And Truth will add to his total points. It'll be 82-71, your final score and the Warriors have dropped a couple in a row at home here at the Hellier Center and the fans will come out of here a little disappointed no doubt but we'll come back here to the Hellier Center on Saturday and make a 